If you're lucky enough to be considering a summer driving toy, well, Mazda's been tempting us with this one now for about three decades. Of course, it's the Miata, the world's fun-loving, affordable roadster. The weather is warming up and top-down driving is on your mind. But the dwindling two-seat convertible segment is typically reserved for the wealthy. No worries, the Miata and its Fiat 124 Spider counterpart are the least expensive new roadsters on the market, with starting MSRPs under $28,000. After that, you'd end up at a $50,000 Audi TT. Now, you can stick with the base Miata soft top or opt for this more sophisticated RF model, short for retractable fastback. After toying with a number of approaches to creating this beautiful silhouette while largely preserving the 4.5 cubic feet of cargo volume, engineers developed this ingenious folding top that isn't pure convertible as much as it is Targa. It takes 13 seconds to deploy and is fully automatic with nothing more to do than hold the switch, though the car basically needs to be stationary for it to work. How can you not love the look? Visually, it's far more alluring than the soft top, adds only a little more than 100 pounds, and divvies up the weight distribution to a perfect 50-50. There's no base sport model as with the soft top, so this MX-5 Club is the entry trim with an MSRP of $33,990, a premium of $2,755. But this car has an option I haven't tested in a Miata for a long while, an automatic transmission. For an extra $600, this six-speed auto replaces the six-speed manual. On the plus side, it nets slightly better fuel economy of 30 mpg and thus provides a bit more driving range. Unfortunately, it eliminates available features such as the induction sound enhancer, Bilstein shocks, a shock tower brace, a limited slip differential, a sport tuned suspension, and a black roof. Apparently, Mazda thinks if you're choosing the auto, your driving intentions are a bit more subdued. Now last year, Mazda upped the output from the 2-liter engine to 181 horsepower at a higher 7,000 RPM and a much more modest 151 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. It still doesn't feel quick, but that's really never been the Miata's MO anyway. Spirited driving is done safely because the Miata is gradual and predictable in its handling. You can really feel what's going on at the rear wheels and react accordingly. It's pure and organic driving unlike anything else this side of an Alfa Romeo 4C. As you probably know, I'm not really a save the manuals kind of guy. I'm pretty progressive when it comes to my automotive thoughts, but I still believe there are certain vehicles that almost require a stick shift. And I would definitely put the Miata in that category. And it's not because the six-speed auto is bad in any way. It actually fires off some really quick shifts when you're using the paddles. It's just that without a manual here, it removes a level of driver engagement that kind of dings the overall experience, mostly because this engine is a lightweight. So take away the ability to roll your own gears, and it can feel a little boring. A sexy exhaust note would aid in the cause, but Mazda's engines sound completely unappealing. The new tilt and telescoping steering wheel is a welcome addition. Because of the Miata's diminutive size, it's not always easy to get behind the wheel of one and find just the right position, so the ability to maneuver this definitely helps. Now, I don't consider myself to be very broad-shouldered by any means, but even for me, the tops of these seats feel pretty narrow which is great for holding you in place on a curvy road, but if you consider yourself to say be husky, you might find these a tad uncomfortable. Though I do love the Bose speakers built into the headrests. New for 2020 on this club model is the gorgeous polymetal gray paint. An Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for the part-time touchscreen infotainment system. The club also comes with ample safety features, including blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, which sounds superfluous in such a small car, but when this roof is up, rearward visibility is challenged. There's also a backup cam now, but no navigation on this car. There is no glove box either, but there is a deep center storage console and some more cubbies behind the seats. There are also heated seats, so if the weather's crisp, just pump up the heat and warm them up. 
Yes, there's more wind noise here, but it barely invades the cabin, so easy conversation is still possible. The Miata RF is sexy and is still turning heads. Total MSRP of this one is 35390 But do yourself a favor, save some money and keep the manual. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.